When it comes to fitness, what's real? How about when it really, truly fits your life? That's how Anytime Fitness sees it. Because our coaches see you. It's how they build personal plans that work wherever you are and focus on everything that matters, from fitness to nutrition to recovery, all so you can push yourself further than ever or just through the next rep. It's total 360 support for a real difference. That's Anytime Fitness. That's Real AF. Visit anytimefitness.com. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2014. The Donkey Kong Guide to Weight Loss by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Sunday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. This is kind of like an audiobook, but with articles instead, and from a bunch of different authors, and always with permission from the sites, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. And then on Fridays, that's when I answer your questions. Remember, you can send in a question by going to oldpodcast.com slash ask or email your question directly to health at oldpodcast.com. All right, and with that, let's hear today's article and continue optimizing your life. The Donkey Kong Guide to Weight Loss by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Today, an 800-pound virtual gorilla is going to help you get in shape. Everybody has played the original Donkey Kong at one point or another, right? If you haven't, here's the premise. Donkey Kong has kidnapped the princess, and it's your job as Mario to climb up ladders and over obstacles until you reach the top of the level where she's being held captive. Who's your princess? Mario is constantly risking life and limb to scale a treacherous obstacle course, climbing faulty ladders, dodging rolling barrels, and escaping pesky flames. Why? Because his lady friend has been captured by a dirty ape and he is her only hope of survival. If you were put in Mario's comically oversized boots, I bet you would do the same thing. Take a look at your life and your quest for health. Who is your quote-unquote princess? Why do you want to get in shape? If you say, why not, or my friend told me to, you probably won't be jumping through hoops or over barrels to get there anytime soon. Now, if you said, because I want to grow old with my wife, or because my father died of heart failure at 53 and I want to actually see my kids grow up, I bet you'll actually take steps to turn your life around. It doesn't have to be this serious either. Maybe your motivation is, I want to impress the cute waitress at the coffee shop and I know she works out. Or, I want to look in the mirror and be proud of what I see. Whatever your princess is, keep that in your mind every day, especially on days when you feel like sleeping in or pigging out or doing nothing. Secondly, do you have a set goal? Mario's girlfriend was waiting at the top of the level, which meant Mario had a specific challenge to accomplish to rescue her. What are your specific goals? Maybe it's lose 95 pounds. Maybe it's run three marathons. Maybe it's bench press 200 pounds at least five times. Or maybe it's get down to a 34-inch waist. Now, depending on how far away you are from your goal at the start, the longer and more perilous the level might be. No matter how far away that goal is, however, as long as it's in your mind and specific, you'll remember why you're going through all this trouble and you'll know how much further you need to go. Barrels and hammers. Mario's journey from the bottom of the screen to the top is no cakewalk. He's got all kinds of garbage to contend with, including barrels hurled with ferocity by our furry villain. Fortunately, Mario's quite the acrobatic plumber and provided he's paying attention, he can leap over these rolling barrels with ease. Of course, he can also grab a super hammer instead, turning him temporarily invisible and whacking the heck out of those things. What are the barrels in your life? These are the obstacles that have derailed your previous weight loss efforts and will threaten to do so again if you're not prepared. Let's see if any of this sounds familiar. One, an extra difficult project at work. In the past, these stressful times at work are a reason to say, Ah, the heck with it, order a pizza, hit up Taco Bell for a fourth meal, and generally completely disregard your own well-being while putting the company first. Instead, you could jump like Mario. Now, although it's difficult, find a way to eat sensibly while going out for food during these few bad days and make a pact to get right back on the train once the workload slows down. You also de-stress by going for a brisk walk every few hours to clear your mind. 
So again, you jumped over the obstacle. Or you could use the metaphorical hammer. In anticipation of a rough work week, you fire up a bunch of grilled chicken and cut up a bunch of veggies on Sunday night so you have all meals ready for the week. You definitely avoid the vending machines and instead chomp down on a healthy snack brought from home. Recognizing the importance of a clear mind, you still find time to exercise and come back to your desk refreshed. Two, a three-day holiday weekend. Ugh, a million beers, six dozen hot wings, a truckload of hamburgers, and a pallet full of ruffles have all been invited to a party in your stomach. To dodge this, you can jump over these obstacles. For example, you know that a long weekend is coming up, so you eat extra diligently for the days leading up to it. A few days off the wagon aren't enough to sabotage your adventure, and you get right back on track when the holiday is over. Or you can use the metaphorical hammer. It's a weekend in the United States, which means there's probably a fun race going on that morning. So instead of sleeping in, you sign up for the race. Maybe raise some money for a good cause and get something accomplished before you would even normally wake up. That runner's high carries you through the rest of the day while you enjoy some beers and surprisingly decent eating. Three, a freak snowstorm. Ah, you were gonna go to the gym today, but now there's 18 inches of snow on the ground. Oh well, looks like you now have the perfect excuse to lie on the couch, eat Oreos, and watch a marathon of America's Funniest Home Videos, right? Fail. Or you could jump. Just because you're stuck inside doesn't mean you have to put your life on hold. Go about your normal routine. Do a great bodyweight exercise routine inside your house and take care of business. Or you could use the metaphorical hammer. Forget the gym and pretend like you're recreating the training montage from Rocky IV. Go shovel the driveway, chop some wood, and climb a mountain while screaming the name of your arch rival. Our lives are full of these barrels. Identify yours and have a game plan for how you're going to deal with them. Be prepared, plan ahead, and then either jump over them or hammer the heck out of them. What happens if you get hit by one of these barrels? Well, stuff happens, and every now and again, you'll get hit. We're all human, and this game of life isn't easy. Fortunately, unless you literally got run over by a barrel, you're probably okay to get up and try again. So, you ate like a pig, drank like a fish, and exercised less than Jabba the Hutt. Who cares? Set your alarm for 7 a.m. the next morning, get your butt out of bed, and get back on track. That princess isn't going to save herself. The flames. As Mario is climbing the level, dodging barrels, grabbing hammers, and scaling ladders, there's this little rinky-dink flame hanging out at the bottom. It's slow and clumsy, but it will eventually catch up to Mario should he become complacent and not advance further. The flame is chasing you too. Standing still and jumping over obstacles as they come to you can only take you so far. It's time to make some progress. Be stronger and faster today than you were yesterday. Find a way to lift one extra pound, do one extra rep, and be one second faster. Always be leveling up and always be moving forward. You just listened to the post titled The Donkey Kong Guide to Weight Loss by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. When it comes to fitness... What's real? How about when it really, truly fits your life? That's how Anytime Fitness sees it. Because our coaches see you. It's how they build personal plans that work wherever you are and focus on everything that matters, from fitness to nutrition to recovery, all so you can push yourself further than ever or just through the next rep. It's total 360 support for a real difference. That's Anytime Fitness. That's real AF. Visit anytimefitness.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Now, I know this post was titled The Donkey Kong Guide to Weight Loss, but I think all of these tips could be applied to really any part of your life, not just weight loss. It's kind of like what Steve said at the beginning of the post where he said, well, what's your specific goal? Is it to lose weight or is it to run a marathon or is it to bench press more weight or is it something else entirely? The great thing about this post is that, again, you can apply it to any one of these goals. But, As Steve mentioned, you've got to be specific with your goals. If you don't know where you're headed, well, then you're just gonna be going around in circles. That goal represents your ultimate destination, where you're headed. And on your path toward that goal or on the road towards that goal, there are gonna be little potholes and big potholes or using Steve's analogy, barrels and flames. And those obstacles might divert you, but hopefully only momentarily. As soon as you can, Forget about those obstacles, get 
back on track, continue that momentum, and the next thing you know, you'll have reached your destination. All right, that'll do it for the Sunday episode. Well, our regularly scheduled Sunday episode, that is. Don't forget, I'll be back in just a second with our bonus episode for the week. So definitely stay tuned for that, where your optimal life awaits.